guys, so I just got done cleaning finally. My hands feel like sandpaper. And I'm just going to eat this cup of berries and then organic mixed berries. 720 at Whole Foods. Too expensive. But I'm just gonna eat these and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and then I'm gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go to the mall. And that's it. And then Bella comes, but I gotta be ready because she gets real funky about her times. If you are late or she's gonna be late for something, mm, the girl hates change. She, mm, she's kinda scary. Hi. Okay, so I'm eating my salad. I pre-made all these salads at the beginning of the week and um, it's like the Kardashian, not Kardashian salad bowl. So it's got balsamic vinaigrette on top of it. And then it's got spring mix, which is like the arugula, 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 it's <laughs> spinach, um, some other weird looking lettuces. And then it's got chicken, olives, tomatoes, feta cheese, and I think that's it. But yeah, it's literally so, ah, so yummy. I put a little bit too much dressing on, but I'll just add some more leaves in there. And, oh, and it's got um, a hard boiled egg on it also. But that's what I'm eating. Here's the fun part. Can I even tell you how freaking horrible these are? This is the turmeric shot, turmeric tonic. I took it in my last vlog when I was like super sick because I was trying to kick it. And it's turmeric extract, grapefruit, lemon, ginger, honey, and cayenne. It is so, it hurts so bad. I'm gonna get a water to chase it because it hurts that bad. Like you can't even get the whole thing down in like one swig and the whole time you just sit there with like burning, burning, burning and then it burns even longer after that and after that and it's like the cayenne just, oh my God. It's filled all the way to the top, man. Okay, well here we go. Oh yeah, half of it's done. Oh, it burns! Well, health is wealth, baby. But I've been doing them in the morning before because oh, we're going to Seattle and we're going literally until the first. So we're gonna be there for a hot second. And when I'm there, it's not that I eat bad, but like it's a lot of like homemade, like family style cooking. Like Nora's cooking is so unreal. But for me and like my goals, I'm trying to like lose weight. So she makes like chicken enchiladas and like stuff like that. And it's so good. And like I'll have like a serving, but then I have to like cut myself off. So I was just trying to like really slim down detox right now so that I can just like enjoy myself when I'm there and not worry too much about it. There is a gym there and we are going to be going to there every day and I'm going to be filming. Oh, thank God. Finally, because Kevin's done. So like he can finally film with me. But I normally film at like 12, like, no, I normally film like 11 or 12 because nobody's at the gym, but also everybody has like real people jobs and your girl doesn't. So everybody can, nobody can ever come help me film. But now that Kevin is off, he can. So oh, my nose is running. Sorry. I'm like really cold right now. Oh, also, do you guys like my new sweatshirt? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Moose absolutely trashed the place trash poop everywhere he broke a glass there was blood everywhere i was like oh my god so he's gonna be in his kennel for like a few more years and <laughs> um yeah so i fly out monday morning this is my salad i gotta pick up some things for my trip just not on these bitches you know no i'm just kidding <sighs> mm. Mm. Look how handsome you are. Oh, I did a cook. Oh, it just touched the ball. Yuck. And then I got his belly shaved. Sweet. Look at him. Oh, I did that sweet boy, even though you break everything mommy has. Yes, you are. Baby, I just want you to say. Tell me back and I 
It's gotta be tight on your head door like this. That's all I have. No, hold it back here like this. I feel like I'm touch your head. Moose, get out. Close. <laughs> Close your eyes. Look so pretty. You look so pretty. Bella doesn't <laughs> like to wear makeup. It's fine. How do you feel? Pretty? Um, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. Nothing? No. Bella! Shots? Tequila? Bella! <laughs> Yes. Oh. 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 Okay, I have to go. Seriously. Mom, I'm gonna be late to dance. Okay. I told everybody you were like this. Earlier today, I was like, Bella's gotta get her makeup done by me, and if it, anything goes wrong, she'll freak out. Didn't I? Look at that walk. Look at that strut. I can't strut. Bella! <laughs> Bye, I love you. I love you. Okay, you guys, so I just got done with Bella's hair, and I'm just kind of like, do you not go through the ugly phase because she literally looks stunning and I'm so jealous because she's gonna be we're 14 years apart but we're still super close which is cool but I've been super stressed because Kevin left for Seattle and then I have just been cleaning and I'm dealing with stuff with my business and I'm just like super stressed because I have to leave Monday I've just been doing a bunch of things kind of like taking on too much for myself if that makes sense so I was like super stressed, so I uh, resorted to stress shopping. I know, I know, not a good idea, but I never do. And honestly, it's stuff that I like really, really love and stuff that I will use every single day. So I don't mind this. I don't normally do this, mostly because I don't want my channel to be a bunch of hauls to make people feel like they have to buy things in order to be happy. Like I'm content with where I am. I just was super stressed and I just grabbed stuff that I've been waiting to get for a while now. So I'm just going to show you guys. So I went to a bunch of different places. I'll start with Sephora, I guess. So for it's Sephora, I got the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. And I'm gonna bring that on the plane with me because you don't have to wash it off. You can just put it on and then just like wear it the rest of the day, I guess. But, cause I don't really wear a ton of makeup when I'm on vacation and stuff. And I will probably honestly just leave that on. And then when I get back from the airport, I'll probably just wipe it off and put a moisturizer on. So then I got the Laneige Berry Lip Gloss. I have this in pear also, but Berry is the original lip mask flavor and I am obsessed with it cause it just smells so good. Then I got my favorite mascara. This is Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. It's unbelievable. And then I picked up the YSL black opium not rollerball it's like the mini spray i'm just gonna bring that to washington with me because i didn't want to bring my whole bottle that's because i'm afraid it's gonna open and then get everywhere and that would be horrible so then i went to nordstrom and i'm just doing all the makeup right now so at clinique they gave me a free facial which i was just at sephora last week and they gave me a free facial and i was like oh my god like oh my god people keep messaging me Oh, that was nice. Bella is stunning. Someone was just like, she's stunning. I'm like, I know. Um, anyways, I was at Nordstrom and this, they were doing free facials and they were like, yeah, nobody's done one yet. Do you want to do it? And I was like, yes, please. So they did it. And then the girl's name was Savannah. We would talk for like an hour, like walked around and shopped together. It was actually so funny. She worked there and in the makeup department and we were just like walking around shopping, like throwing stuff in my bag. Like it was so funny. But at the, at the end we found out her name was Savannah. Her best friend's name is Savannah. And I was like, Oh my god, it was great. She was a blonde, her best friend was a redhead, and I was a brunette. I was like, we could be totally spies. Or the Powderpuff Girls. It doesn't matter. But anyways, she ended up giving me this huge gift bag from Clinique for free, which was so sweet. Take the day off makeup remover. I actually love the stuff. I've had it before. And then it's got like moisture surge, an eye mask, or an eye balm, a little mini lipstick. Like, there's so much stuff in here. I'm not even going to go through it all, but thought that was super sweet 
And then I got more samples from this brand called Beauty Bio. And I don't know, it looks it just looks like a really good brand. That's what they use on the face in my facial. And I walked down like five people were like, oh my god, your skin looks so good. I was like, I should get that, but it was expensive, so I did not. But then I got the Clinique Moisture Surge, and the only reason I got them, I wanted to get the big size one, but the reason I got the small size was because I have so many facial moisturizers right now that I just need to like chill. So I'm gonna use it and if I love it. You know, if I love it so much, I'll go back and buy the bigger one. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude, and I'm just gonna bring this with me to Washington. Oh my God. I have them scattered throughout everywhere. I have them in my purse, my car, my bathroom. It's like, that, that color is amazing. That's the only color I have gotten that matches my lip identically. Identically? Identical. Identically. I don't know. And then I picked up the NARS Radiant Con Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. We officially, we officially, we initially thought this was going to be too light for me. And then I decided that since I'm going to be getting paler here throughout the next few weeks, like you should, because tanning is bad for you, then I will have that light one and I don't have to exchange them. So then, oh my God. We'll just stick with Nordstrom. So I've been waiting to get these and I'm so excited. Oh, nope, just, well, I was gonna show you my slippers, but these are the Air Force ones I picked up. I have a pair, but I wear them to the gym and I wear them everywhere and they are just honestly trashed. So I'm a size seven and a half and they fit, I don't know, I feel like they fit pretty good. They're just such a classy sneaker. I will definitely be bringing, I will definitely be bringing these to Washington with me, which is really exciting because I'm just so excited. Well, I guess we'll just do shoes now. So then, I was actually really excited to get these. These are seven and a half, the Ultra Boost 19s. I don't know if that means anything to anybody or maybe that was a measurement, but I just got the black and white. And I just got these because you can run in them and you can work out in them. When I go to the gym, I will pick my gym shoes depending on whether I'm running or doing weights. And then if I get there and I'm not feeling one, then I can't, I like can't really change my mind because you can't run in like weightlifting shoes and you can't vice versa. You know, it's just, you need the flat platform and then you need like your arched support for running. So I got these because you can do both and ultra boosts are so comfortable. I've always tried them on. I've just like never gotten a pair. I don't know. I just thought 180 bucks was a lot of money for a pair of shoes, but I wanted them for a while. So I just got the black and white to keep it simple. I'll probably go back and get the gray there's like a gray pair, gray and white, and they're actually so cute. But they didn't have them in store, and I wanted them for when I go to Washington. So, oh, this is what I got all excited about that I missed. I wanted to get these for a minute. Look how cute. These are slippers. They are so cute. They're by Uggs. They were 100. The, the Nike Airs were 90. The Adidas Ultra Boost were 180, and then these were 100. But, the, like, that's just... Shoes last forever. Like I've had these bad boys for a long time. I, anyways, shoes. These are so cute, especially because I work from home, so I'm always in slippers. When I take Moose out in the morning, I just have been ruining my slippers, like because I just like don't think about it. I put my slippers on in my robe and I walk out the back door. And I've been ruining them, so if I have those, I will just grab those instead. And they're super cute, and I just want them. So, ooh, oh, there's actually not that much left. Sweet. Okay. So then I got. I actually picked up another pair of these, but I just let Bella borrow them to go to after her thing. These are the these are the Fabletics High Waisted Statement Pure Lux 7 8 So, these are the only leggings I like from Fabletics and these are just as good as Lululemon aligned. Don't don't get pissed, don't get mad or judgmental. They are just so comfortable. They flatter your legs so well. Some leggings, I'll put them on these other Fab leg Fabletic leggings that I have. You put them on it looks like sausages. That happen to anybody else anyways these are just super flattering and they have pockets on the side so you can use that there's no mesh it's just been the material is super thin and super stretchy and it just like feels so nice so love those they're also squat proof and then a lululemon i got these tanks but i'm getting them hemmed so don't what are you doing you look suspicious okay so i just picked up a pair of lululemon lines in 25 inches these are also the 7 eighths i asked the woman there i was like what's the difference between the 7 eighths miss i was like what's the difference between the 7 eighths and the 25 inches and she was like well they're the exact same thing we just label them different and i was like that makes everything so difficult i mean it does it makes things difficult I, before i was like i was like no i like the 7 eighths not the 25 inches and people were like looking at me funny i was like 
Well, nobody told me. But these are my favorite leggings of all time. I go through them like crazy. I probably get like two pairs a year. They're just really nice. I just like love them and I work out for a living and I'm literally, this is, this is like my work uniform. So that's my excuse. So then I picked up this Lululemon brawl. This is so stinking cute. This is the Flow Y bra in Nulu. This is so great. It's literally black camo. And she was literally like, there's matching aligned leggings. And I was like, shut the front door. Where are they? And she was like, we're out of stock everywhere. It's gone. Well, so then she was like, well, let me just like call one of my stores. She calls a California store. Somebody had returned them because they didn't like how they looked on size four. She got them sent to me. They get in Tuesday. So I'm not going to have them for the trip, but they get in Tuesday and I'm so excited. Anyways, I got those. I got the camo pants. They're so freaking cute. I seriously love this. This is so great. Like, look at it. Okay. And then, and then I went to this new place. Oh, I have them in. I don't know if you guys can see this cute little hoop right here. Can you guys see these little guys? They're 14 karat gold. They're solid gold. They're just these little hoops. And I got them on sale. This guy gave me a discount. Here what's called. It was called like luxury jewelry in the mall. It was above, it was to the left of Kate Spade. I don't know, but they were super nice. Gave me a discount. It was great. And I've just been looking for little hoops for my second hole so I don't have to have to take those out because I have diamonds in the third hole. And then I can just interchange the bottom hole out with whatever you're into. This was a gift from a family friend to show their appreciation for me and I just thought it was so sweet. I just picked it up. So it was this candle. This smells so good. It's, don't know. It's by, it's called Elderberry Rose and it's by Sydney Hale. Like, oh, it smells so good and I love candles so that was so sweet. And then it came with, they also picked out these earrings. I was, oh my God, I love these so much. These are so stinking cute. Look at these. Like, they're just, they're just different, you know? Like, they're like ragged, kind, ra ragged, ragged, and they're like tiny little dainty hoops. And I just, I love the little like details on them. Like, that's so cute. That makes them more interesting and fun. So. Okay. So. This is the last thing I just got this to travel with. I have a Steve Madden bag that I always travel with. It's my white furry one. You guys have seen it in other travel vlogs. I'm obsessed with it. It's the best bag I've ever had, but the zipper broke. So I picked up this one. Is Madden girl the same as Steve Madden? Is it like the little baby girl brand? It might be, hold on. Wait for it. But I also teamed up with this, I like collabed with this bag brand that customizes bag it's called saint oddity and they actually sent me a bag that has my name on it and it's coming in the mail on tuesday and i was just like oh my god because i was going to use that bag because i got all excited to use it and then since it's from australia it didn't get until later and it gets in tuesday i tried to pick it up today in dhl i guess you can't pick up on the weekends whatever but it has oh that's where i was getting with that 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 bag has saint oddity written on this kind of strap and it's like a tote bag but it's like leather it's like what's well, it's like fake leather and it, it just looks so great but i got this from tj maxx this was well it was originally 80 bucks i did not know that okay this was 32.99 so it's just it's just a cute little like simple bag with like a touch of like booge so that is it, you guys. I am probably going to take a bubble bath, have a glass of wine, and do a face mask because my day has been super stressful. And if I'm being honest, the things don't make me feel any better, and they never will. So if you are sitting here thinking, I'm not saying that you are, but if I know how I am, people do hauls, and I'm like, oh, I wish I had that, I wish I had that, just know I don't feel any better. I don't feel any less stressed. I just am surrounded by a bunch of things that I have to put away now. So. I, did, I mean, like I said, I did want the things, but I'm saying the problems and the like stress and anxiety that I had aren't gone because I bought the things. So things can only do so much for you. So that is, that's my spiel. I won't say anything else about it, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Tomorrow, I don't, you guys, I'm stressed. I'm gonna be vlogging all vacation. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I have some fall videos coming up which I'm so excited thank you guys so much for watching it means the world to me i hope you guys have a great weekend and if you are new here do not forget to like and subscribe and that's it thank you guys so much for watching
Tell me that.